Welcome to another Chicago Bears fan show. In this video, I'm going to show you how I believe the Bears passing game can take advantage of the Texans to put up points on the board and help win this game for the Bears in Week 10. First, I'm going to show you a little bit of Texans defense. While generally it's pretty vaunted, I think their defensive backs are susceptible to good receivers who have good chemistry with their quarterback. Let's watch a little bit of footage and break it down on what happened against the Packers earlier in the season. All right, this first play from scrimmage uh, that we're going to look at for the Packers against the Texans, it's quite simply a fly route that uh, Jordy Nelson's going to run on the outside here. And Aaron Rodgers is just going to take a small step to his right before firing a pass to the corner of the end zone. And it's really a straightforward play that gets uh, completed by the Packers. I'm not even sure what the thought process is here by the Texans on this one. So let's roll it from here. There's Rodgers, steps back, throws. Jordy Nelson on his fly route. There's just, you know, uh, a nice little amount of separation here on this play uh, between him and Joseph that's going to allow him to make the catch here. For a man of his speed and size, uh, this is clearly a play that uh, he, he will make and drops in nicely. Looking at this play, I don't think there's any reason why uh, Cutler can't make that throw to Marshall nine times out of ten against who's supposed to be the best corner for the Texans, Jonathan Joseph. This next play is a fake uh, given to the running back here, uh, but withheld by Rodgers who is going to avoid the pass rush, slide over to his left to create time. And across this pattern, uh, Randall Cobb is going to make a move here. And tell me, Bears fans, if you don't see this as being uh, a play that Cutler can run to Devin Hester. Let's roll it. There's the fake. Rogers drops back. Steps up, avoids pressure. Stays away from the sack there. Slides to his left. Changes the point of the pocket. And hits Randall Cobb coming across the field. Again, I don't see a reason why that play can't be done by Cutler and Hester. Now here, it looks like in this play in the second quarter, uh, some kind of cover formation where this uh, up man for the Texans is going to play the zone here. Uh, and the safety is responsible for everything behind him. Uh, I'm not sure really what the logic is here because Tory Nelson is going to come through and make a play into the end zone and he is a much bigger body than the safety and it's going to be a, a relatively routine catch for him to make on this play. Uh, we'll see it develop. Rogers just unloads. Simple play. Tory Nelson just got position on the safety in this play. And there's no magic to that. It's just an easy play that, again, I see Marshall being able to take advantage of all day uh, for the Bears. So, what you saw there was the defensive backs of the Texans getting out and out dominated by Aaron Rodgers, and not even, not even the top flight receivers, no Greg Jennings available. So, here's what the Bears need to do. Because the Texans are still very tough in a number of ways against the pass. They have a good pass rush. J.J. Uh, Watt, Connor Barwin, they, they get to the quarterback. And if they don't get to the quarterback, J.J. Swatt has been able to get his hands up in the air and wreak havoc. So what Cutler needs to do, in my opinion, is roll out of the pocket regularly. If he can do that, and he does have the ability to, he's athletic, and he did it a lot in Denver. Um, then I think you can do two important things. One, change the focal point of that pass rush. Move it out, make it tougher. Two, you end up making it more difficult to swap balls down when he's rolling outside. Uh, it's just tougher when you can't set up, jump in the air on a set drop and, and be able to knock down balls in the passing lanes. The passing lanes literally move. The other part is to get Brandon Marshall deep. That's a huge critical success factor for the Bears in this game. And after what we saw, I think he can have success getting deep uh, against these Texans receivers. Obviously, these two have been generating some very good chemistry of late. 
And what I'm going to show you is exactly the kind of chemistry that these two can have, especially on design plays where color is rolling out of the pocket. Let's watch this now. All right, this is a play relatively early in the game uh, for the Bears against the Detroit Lions. And um, this is a designed play where Cutler rolls out. Uh, in this case, Marshall is going to cut across the field behind the line of scrimmage, actually, and is supposed to get the ball. Cutler is going to drop back here and then look to roll out. And the play doesn't even go as designed, actually. Marshall ends up leaking down to the goal line. Uh, and a bit of a scramble and, and it turns into a touchdown so uh let's watch now as this one progresses there's a fake handoff marshall comes across field cutler without anybody around him allows marshall to cut up and there's the catch for a touchdown with nobody around him and that play is again made possible because uh, Cutler uh, moves out of the pocket uh, unexpectedly for the defense as we watch it here again. Uh, you can see him come across, tell Marshall to get upfield, make the play easy for Cutler. All right, that's the Bears passing game. And what they need to do to win this week, it's all there. Do it, Mike Tice. Next video I'm going to show you is how I think we can disrupt their run game with our vaunted defensive line. Bear down.